Hello everybody, this is Mike Jr. the second, and today we're going to be starting my very next Let's Play. It's a very awesome game made by Level 5, one of my favorite game companies of all time. I've played one of their previous games in the past, and I plan to play more. At least as many as I can get my hands on. Uh, it's Reading Card PlayStation 2, one of the best uh, games ever made, uh, hardly ever recognized, uh, one of Level 5's best work. No, I'm kidding here, obviously. Now you guys see the title screen. Today I'm going to be starting my Let's Play of... Dark Cloud 2, also known as Dark Cloud Chronicles in Japan and I think in Europe. I could be wrong about that one. I never, I never uh, fact checked that one. So anyway, yes, Dark Cloud 2. No, 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 no. You can go back from that game. There's a weird thing at the beginning of the game and later on in the game. I will show those at the end of a certain video. Both of them. They're kind of spoilery. So I am going to basically, uh, I'm going to cut them out and then put them at the end of a video for you guys to watch at a later point. Uh, without commentary at all, just so in case you guys want to see it, just so I can show you guys the content. And if you want to spoil yourself, but if you want to stay unspoiled, despite the fact that the game spoils you in-game, um, I'll let you guys do that on your own behalf. So anyway, I'm going to be starting a new game. Now, it should be said that um, if you are playing your uh, memory card, uh, if you've already beaten this game, you'll also be able to customize another character. But here we have our first character, Max. Uh, you can customize him with three different kinds of items. I will go unique with all of them, but I am going to show you guys what he has also. I kind of don't mind the red ones or the green. The green color seems kind of off for me. I kind of like it, but I kind of don't. So I kind of like uh, the main color overall. And then you have his shoes at the bottom. So we just stick with leather shoes. I think I did work shoes one time by accident, but it doesn't matter. Leather shoes, it is. You can also turn in, zoom in, and stuff. Yeah, check out that little... Probably, I don't even know how old he is, like uh, probably 10 to 16 probably. That's how usually RPGs work. <laughs> What's that? You're 17 years old? Get the fuck out of here. Anyway, Max's costume, yes, and let's continue on. So yes, I have a lot to say about this game, but I will do it during a lot of the dungeon crawling aspect of it. Because, uh, don't got time to fill that in now. So then let's see what happens. Where does this game start? Okay, st stormy night like every fucking story uh <laughs> oh hey doesn't look good a little bit on in the voice acting but whatever something new to dark cloud actually uh oh we're surrounded Okay, so here we have the damsel in distress thing, blah blah blah, gonna go on the internet, see people complain about it, it's just a stupid thing, whatever. Never mind, bitches! Haha! <laughs> nope, no damsel in distress here. We got capable damsel. I mean, I don't care about the damsel thing, but you know what? It's kind of nice having a uniquely fresh character now and again, and this is our, uh, not really spoiling anything by saying this is Monica. Uh, this is the other character that you can customly uh, create the costume for at the beginning of the game. Uh, after you beat the game one time, but you can't do it yet. So yeah, I don't know why so I will go into the combat a bit later But just to say so you have a charge shot like usual. You also have a secondary weapon. That's usually a ranged weapon uh, right here. We have a uh, Kind of have a fire thing going on here. Uh, if you can't tell it's basically the uh, Bracelet from Ruby and now we also have the sword power the sword uh, weapon from tone So kind of a cool way to mix things up. I think you can also block I forget if you can block I know I think you can block in the previous game I forget. I love the game a lot, but there's some things you just never really use in them. There's other things that you notice, like the dots above the characters' heads and stuff, but really there's not much else to say. Like I said, I will get into it whenever I get into the combat in this game. Careful, you can get hurt. I don't think... Do you have any items you can use? No, you do not. So, you have no items you can use so far. Oh, first person view of getting hit. Yay. So, yeah. Uh, if you die here, you're gonna have to restart the game, I guess. I don't know. I don't think I've ever died here before. I forget. Uh oh. Well, shit. Well, then, that was kind of a depressing opening. Well, damn. 
Feel bad for uh, Monica there. Dear mother, how are you? I'm doing fine. Uh oh, he's talking so to himself. Much has happened that I don't know where to start. Well, I guess it's easiest to start at the beginning. It all began that night, right? That night of the storm. Oh, of course, it's a fucking rainy night always. We understand this. I wonder if it's the same rainy day, huh? But no jokes aside, uh, Max is actually writing, which is why he's talking to himself there. We'll, we'll basically hear that later, basically, but it's not spoiling anything again. Alrighty, then we're inside. Good to go. You gotta really appreciate the animations here. Something that, you know, it was just starting to happen with the PlayStation 2. Pretty early today, huh? Yeah, I guess, but take a look at this. Take a look at this. <laughs> Ta -da! Check this out. I got a ticket for Flotsam's circus troupe. And it's powerful against living things. Oh, good for you. Your dad's not gonna try to stop you. He said I could go. Well, you better finish your work quick then, huh? Right. Hey, Max, what's that you got there? What's this? Father gave it to me yesterday. Always wear it, he said. It's pretty old. I don't know what it is. Hmm. Odd MacGuffin, but whatever. Well, can I get started? Oh, yeah. Go ahead. Gable's vacuum is set up below. Go to it, lad. Leave it to me. Alrighty then, so this is Max. Here in a little area, this is uh, basically Cedric's shop. He's a pretty awesome dude for the most part. He's an older guy, but he, he kicks ass, I'd say. Alrighty then, so uh, here's where we save in the game. Uh, I am not going to save yet. I'll save at the very end of this uh, video. But um, you can have multiple save files and that kind of stuff. I also have some uh, previous save files because I've tried to make this game like five other times in the past, this Let's Play. So anyway, we have this vacuum up here that we need to fix, but let's see. I think that repair tool was in the cabinet in the back. So, yeah. Just have to go down here, and here we have, like, some Resident Evil uh, kind of uh, pre-rendered things. They don't they do not do this often, but we have them here just because. Also, grab that notebook. Kind of important. I don't think we can do anything over here. Yeah, it might be pretty important. Yep. So, just go to buy this cabinet, and there's really nothing else we can do. At least that I can think of so far. If anybody else knows anything else, please post in the com comments below. Sometimes I mix stuff up. I have I have I have some weird stories with this game, so yeah. Okay, time to start fixing it. Guess I'll do it later. Nope. Can't do anything else. Can't continue the story until you finish your damn vacuum cleaner. Okay, here we go. Ah, this is the Anbar type 2 here. Uh-oh. This is a pretty specialized hose attachment. He learned how to talk from oh, tails. I see the problem. And also, he apparently just, you know, fit you know, touching it, fidgeting with it. There we go. Oh yeah, there we go. I just kinda poked it a few times, it's fixed. The animations weren't perfect back then, but it's the best we had, goddammit. No, this game looks really good, actually. If you can't tell, they switched to a, a cell-shaded thing. Also, there is the two moons from Dark Cloud 1, meaning that this, uh, this game does take place on the same planet. Pretty cool. <laughs> oh shit, get out of my face. Is everybody ready? Let's have a stupendous show tonight! Let's make this a night of wonder. And the clowns have knives. Oh, that is terrifying. God. Let's get to work. I'm not even scared of clowns, but holy shit, you know, give a clown a knife, that just looks horrifying. And they're like running through the city too, you know, oh, you know, check out the fair, holy shit. Bash them across the head. Don't realize they're just performers. I mean, I'd watch out for it. Uh-oh, Max somehow fell asleep working on something. I don't really know how you do that. Oh no. It's about to start. Uh-oh. Why the heck didn't it go off? Maybe you should have poked at it with your uh, wrench or something. Maybe that would have fixed it. He's gone? 
Also, there's something else you can't tell about our character, is that he is voiced by the same person who voiced Robin. I totally forget the name. I will try to put it on screen if I uh, remember to do it. I'm using different editing software here. But, uh, yeah. Same guy who does Robin. It was kind of, uh, you know, like, ugh, as a kid, just because you couldn't get it out of your head. But, you know, I kind of see it now. It's, it's a lighter version of what he does for Robin. Not, like, all serious and shit. Actually, you'll notice that Monica's voice actor has a, actually also has a similar... A voice actor from a childhood, but I'll go back into that whenever we see her. Alrighty then, so now we're walking around. We have another save thing, just in case, you know, you gotta go, you know, oh, you started the game, but you gotta go do something right now. Kind of nice of him, I guess. Alrighty then, so we gotta talk to the guy. Alright, so just like in Dark Cloud 1, to do special items, you have to press the square button, not the X button. I always love this just because it's the difference between just finishing the game, you know, just by pressing buttons and going, oh, you have the item, you're good, and showing you that something's plot important. I kind of like that. I don't know, it's probably useless nowadays, but I kind of like it for, uh, you know, back then. It was a really good way to do things. And it's not too complicated of a way. What the fuck? Oh, you little shit. Gonna beat the crap out of you. I'll poke you a few times. That'll tell. That, that'll fix you right up. I can't believe it. Of all the... Actually, I, I don't know if it's just me, but it looks like uh, he looks like Ed from I think his name's Ed from Cowboy Bebop. You know the red-haired kid. I think that's Ed. I don't know. It just sounds like it to me. Sorry to ru sorry to ruin your guys' date, but. Did you see a little red-headed kid coming this way? Nope. Do you see anything? He headed towards City Hall. Thanks, Sakura. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's legit, the, uh, her voice actor. <laughs> Did you see a red-haired boy run by? Oh, yes. Just now. I'm certain I saw him heading that way. So here the game's kind of showing off. Oh, hey, we can point the character this way and have them, uh, point in a certain... We can, you know, have the character head this way and point in that direction. Therefore, there we go. <laughs> I don't know, I kind of like that. Again, they're, they're doing their best to kind of show off the animations, though it's going to get a little silly in a second. Now, this one will tell you how to look in first person, and she'll tell you to look at the moon. And again, we see the beautiful... Oh, there we go. <laughs> the beautiful balloon. Not the moon, the balloon. No, here's the moon. Very beautiful moon. I do love that thing. The, the concept of a two-moon kind of thing. I don't know, it just looks kind of interesting. And let's ask you, little girl. Oh, it's a cutscene. She must know something. Hey, hey, did you see a red-haired boy? Ah, damn. I guess the cutscene was pointless. Ah. Wait a minute. Jesus. Hand over the ticket before I beat it out of you. I just wanted to see the circus, just once. You really want to see the circus, huh? Hmm. I'm sorry. I promise I'll never do it again. All right. Here you go. What? Huh? Remember, kids, Come stealing things yours. means you'll get them in the end anyway. Really? Yep. I'll go see you next time. You better go now. It's about to start. Okay, see ya. <sighs> what? Hey, wait a minute. What's going on? What? Huh? Those drugs must be kicking in, Max. Max. You might be able to do it. Hurry! The first door is waiting for you. Door what? Okay. What's going on? <laughs> God damn it, I gotta stop taking those drugs. I find it funny too, because it from the looks of it, they cut you to a completely different area when they do that little cutscene there. I don't know. I could be wrong, but it looks like it anyway. So that was odd. Now she says the first door is waiting, but or him, I don't really fucking know. But, uh, basically, there is no first door. If anything, it's metaphorical. So, yeah. I don't know. 
Again, you know, I, I think it's just trying to show a little, oh, hey, you know, Max is a good person kind of thing, but, nah. Here it is. Whatever. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I love the way Max says that. He's so stupid. Yep. 